Jensen and I'm up in Sherwood, Oregon at Threat Dynamics and I have to admit I'm pretty excited because I'm about to head into Threat Alley and Threat Arena to run their immersive tactical shoot package. What that is is a fully immersive virtual simulation where I get to run active shooter situations, I get to run shoot no shoot, I get to run rapid fire acquisition and also communication and so on and so forth. Anything that you don't really get to train at a normal range. So we're going to go in back, we're going to run both situations and while I'm in the second in the threat arena, I actually have to put a belt on that delivers like 5,000 volts of charge if you get shot. So cross your fingers for me, hope I don't get shot because I'm really nervous about getting tased. So follow me, let's go. So it's gonna go up to back out to five yards. It's gonna be a green zone target. You're gonna shoot the oval in the middle. officers and you have received a report of some suspicious activity going on on the top floor of a outdoor parking garage. As you proceed up to investigate uh, what's going on, you receive a second report that there is potentially more than one suspect and they are tampering with vehicles. Uh, not a concealed carry, this is more of an active shooting situation. Who is that? Who is that? Watch out. Hey, put your hands up. Put your hands up. Put your hands up. Keep it on your right. Put your hands up. 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 So, because I didn't see them bring any weapons up, and I don't know. I mean, obviously they did, but I was very confused. Yeah, I saw yes. this guy jumped out. So, so this guy over here. I'll, sh I'll show. I'll slow this down. I'll break it down for you. You were two armed security guards. You received a report. There's people um, breaking like into breaking into cars potentially. That there was um, potentially multiple people tampering with vehicles. So you go up to investigate. All right. This guy. Don't shock, don't shock I'm not going to shock you again. <laughs> so it, it is just the replay, right? Did you get shot? So this guy pops out. He has a tire iron, and he says, "Dead battery, car won't start." Right. I said, "Put down your weapon." Yeah. Uh, that was all. That was all the right thing. And right? I kept telling him, "Watch this guy over here. This guy over yeah. here." So he's a, he's basically just delaying everything and kind the of screaming. The only thing is, along. I wasn't watching my back over here. Is that where he That's came up? That's where he came up. So this guy, yeah. yeah. So the whole thing is set. So I watched everything over here, like you were too. So I wasn't. So watching. it's an ambush, uh, right? So all of this is all just a distraction. No one over here actually has a weapon, other than he drops his tire. That's why I was confused. I didn't see any weapons. Yes. Yeah. And we got shot from back here. So this guy sets this down. The idea is that if you are armed security and you've received multiple reports of something, you're going to have to write a detailed report, right? So, you're going to ask for this guy's ID, right? He doesn't have to give it to you, so you ask for a name. 
as a follow-up question, right? So this guy says, I don't need any ID. Okay, that's fair. You can refuse to do that. As long as you haven't been like actively committing a crime, even to the police, you can refuse to show ID. So he says, I don't need any, all right. What's your name? And he said, why don't you ask him what my name is? And he points and he looks That's right fine. there. And this guy's running up the stairs. And you were both stared right at him when he was doing this, right now. You were looking directly at him. And I was watching I thought he was talking with his hands. Yeah. And then, right here, these guys walk out. And so what happens is, visually, you are now outnumbered. And so most people, I'd say 95% of people, they just ignore what they've heard. They, it's called auditory exclusion, right? And so they turn and deal with what they are visually seeing and they block out that sensory input of what they have just heard. So in this scenario, you are two concealed carry holders. You have just left work, it was a long day. You're swinging by the mini mart on your way home to pick up some beer and some munchies. As you bring your items up to the cash register, two gentlemen walk into the store. So it was like I walked, I walked in and just being a concealed carry holder, I looked for every exit and everything. Mm -hmm. So did you look for because you knew those two guys? What? Do what I did. And they come to I saw two guys yeah. walk in and the one guy disappeared. So I wanted the scenario was just all you're See the guy disappears. Oh, so oh, yeah. sure you didn't save the guy, you saved you save yourself. Save myself, but the clerk's dead. Yeah, yeah, you can't really save the clerk. There's he does. There's no like. Uh, so he's weird. not provoked. He's not. Uh, he doesn't make any threats or demands or anything. Up. He just draws out and shoots the guy. Right at that point, he is an active shooter. If you um, are the only two people in the building outside of his accomplice, he's probably going to turn his gun on you next. Right? right. He obviously doesn't care about um, being seen doing this. So if he's going to turn his gun on you, treat him like an active shooter. This guy hits the ground really, really fast. And then if you stare at the top middle of the screen you're looking at. You see him go right through there? Nope. This this screen right here, where you were where you oh, had yeah, been yeah, looking. Yeah. In the top middle, there's a bubble mirror. You're oh. gonna see the guy start moving. Oh, oh yeah. shit. And then he pops out. And you're nice. shot on him. Right there, right there, and there. So I shot him every time. Yep. Good work. All right. Oh my God, what an amazing experience. We had such a great time in there. We did get shot. I got tased once and Kyle got tased twice, uh, but he asked for the second one. Anyways, uh, it was fully immersive. We had to deal with situational awareness, communication, and um, just reaction time in general. So. It was a cool experience and I cannot wait to try that again sometime. So thank you to Threat Dynamics for having us out to try their 300 degree simulator and you guys should come check it out. Check out their Instagram, Threat Dynamics, and their website, threatdynamics.com. See you guys soon.